Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to show you how to create an animated web banner on Photoshop. Let's create a large web banner. Let's start by going to New, put with 336 and 280, and click OK. We have to make sure that you do have your pictures, so in this case, I have my three pictures, I have my three shirts that I wanted to use as an example, as well as the logo. Drag those pictures in. Created all the layers. And let me drag my logo as well. Now let's resize it to fit the t-shirt. Let's resize that a little bit more. That looks good. Let's uh, test it out and see how it looks. Let's just hide some of the t-shirts. Yeah, that's good. So let's put, create a text and put a headline. So we can put that in. Let's say Let's try get three shirts for $30. Now let's change the font. You can't see white, so let's change it to black. Click OK. Move that a little bit. Uh, that didn't change my knee. I still cannot see it properly. Let's change the font. Here's the font. That looks a little bit better. Let's change it to bold. Uh, let's put an outline on it just to make it stand up more. Let's click on blending options. Put stroke. Oh, that's too thick. Let's change that to one stroke. And change that to white. That looks a little bit better. Let's put a background. Let's go to change that. Gray is fine. Now press Command Delete and that changes the background. Let's put the headline, the second headline. Let's say get the deals here oh, let's just move that layer up so we can see it okay that looks good let's just adjust a little bit Just to kind of separate the uh, two call to action, get the deals here. You always want to have a call to action on a banner. Let's make that bigger. Now what we want to do is we want to group all the layers. Let's create a group. A folder, a group folder, and drag that there. And drag, hold the shift, and drag that whole thing. 
scaffold there. And let's reposition. Let's just move that gray background in the bottom. Now we want to duplicate this folder. And let's do it three times because we have three shirts. So right click on it and click on right click on it and duplicate group. Duplicate this group. Group three. Actually let's rename this to something better than group one. Let's rename this to red. This one we'll send them to gray and the other one black. And then what we want to do is we want to remove the other shirt. Since it's red, let's remove the other ones and just leave the red. Select it. Delete. Let's do it for the black one. Select and delete. Well, let's just test this really quick. How it looks. So now let's merge each group. Right click on it and merge group. Let's right click on that, merge group. And the last one, merge group. Animate this, let's go to window timeline. Let's create frame animation. Sometimes it might say create video timeline. We want to make sure it's on create frame animation. Click on that button and now they're all in one. So let's separate each layer by clicking on this button and make frame from layers. So we have all three. Let's play it. That's too fast. Let's change the speed. It's right now it's zero second. Let's change it to 1.5 seconds. So hold shift, select all. Click on this. Click on other. 1.5 seconds. Click OK. Let's put the loop to forever. And play. So what we want to do now is let's export it to GIF or GIF. Click on File, Save for Web. You'll see GIF here and make sure color is 256. You want to have the most colors. Sometimes it might say your color is 128. Make sure to change it to 256. And the file, you can see the file size is going to be 64 kilobytes, which is good. You want to have a small file size. Click save. Let's rename it. I'm going to leave the format to images only and the settings to default settings. I'm not going to change any of those. That should be fine. Click save. Let's test this uh, banner. What we want to do is we want to drag this file that we created to a browser. Let's open Chrome, open a tab, and let's drag that file. There you go. So let's try opening another browser. I always want to check a different browser just to make sure it works. Let's uh, open Safari. And 
and there you go. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit like if this helped you.